let's bring beauty into our designs. Important players of beautiful design, core elements, core elements, its icons and fonts. We in Evil Martians believe, really believe, that building the strong connection between icons and fonts bring products, polish, sense of beauty, better user experience, and perhaps better functionality. And today I will show you how you can bring your icons to the next level. But first, let's start with simple questionnaire. Please raise the hands who love icons and fonts. I'm not alone, thank you. First of all, let's take a look uh, at the current scene. We have pretty a lot for the icons, for the fonts. If you develop some web pro projects, I think you know Font Awesome icon library. Uh, if you mobile mobile developer, you I think know about iOS and Android, yeah? And it means from the start you can build in and don't think about icons. Speaking about fonts, we have beautiful Google Fonts source where you can select any pair. It's already adapted to the web and you have all. It's true. And uh, today we will select some fonts, we will select icon and uh, experiment with that. Maybe we can adapt that. Maybe we don't need to do anything because we have everything from the start. Let's take a look. Under the Google fonts we can select trending or popular one to combine with the icons. For the reference icon, we can select the simplest one, arrow in the circle. Beautiful, simple one, and I think everyone can draw that icon with closed eyes and it still will be visible and understandable. Okay, and uh, here we are. We combined that default reference icon with selected fonts and uh, I want you to ask your inner sense of beauty. Are they cool enough for you? Are they beautiful? But still, it's default one, combine, okay? What about that selection? Let's take a look at full amount of the icons, fonts, and uh, I think your inner sense of beauty telling you we have problem here, and we truly have problem here, because uh, it's not enough. We need polish sense of beauty, we need something more, because, of course, we can build MVP and start with simple one, yeah? Uh, but to bring more identity, to highlight yourself, you need character, you, you need beautiful polished sense of beauty. It means what we can do, yeah? Uh, we can use font anatomy to bring that con connection within icons and fonts. And speaking about font anatomy, there are a lot of beautiful but very difficult terms. But uh, uh, let me show you and explain in simplest way. Let us see, we will uh, take a look at the inner space. We will use that. Take a look at the letter V. Beautiful connection notch between two uh, strokes connected ink traps. They uh, bring be beauty to the font. And of course, other beloved letter F. And take a look at the end of the stroke. We will use all that characteristics to combine them and adapt for the icon. And you may ask why. Okay, why? Because, simple answer, yeah? Take a look on the adapted uh, icon and font and ask yourself again, your inner sense of beauty. There is the beauty here. What do you think? Right, thank you. It means it's not enough to have default one, yeah? It, me it means we need to do something with that. We need adaptation. And in that case, we need to go deeper. Let's do it. And uh, one of the selection from Google Font, Playfair Display. First icon modification, it's high contrast fonts. The big resemblance here. Take a look at the difference between thick and thin lines. 
it's very important and simple resemblance which we can apply for other icon. Here we are. Adapted, beautiful icon. We take that difference between thin, thick and thin lines, apply that to the arrow circle, apply it to the arrow sheets and arrow sides, and it's beautiful. The much more interesting and unique font you have, the much more exploration you can uh, create, provide, and explore. It means it's high contrast font. It means you can experiment with the difference between thick and thin, and you will have new arrow. Also, you can go much more deeper, but very careful, please. You can take the letter O and use that inner space in that letter to adapt to the circle. Be careful, it's breaking the rule because circle need to be circle, but you explore and uh, to experiment and to realize what you can do, it's very impo important in the way of finding the beauty. In my book, and I really recommend you take a look on the glyph panel. Uh, which help you to see the full amount of symbols which font designer prepared for you. There you can find unique and interesting symbols which can inspire you to build new form or change something for an arrow, like here. Take a look. Uh, we take glyph and Nice arrow. I think we need to do that and adapt for other pur purposes, creating another arrow in the circle, yeah? And also, don't forget about exploration, because we can go deeper and we can combine that strange or beautiful arrow with the letter O, that inner space, and it's a very strange symbol, yeah? But still worth exploration and of course no one in any website don't have that type of icon. And here we go to the important rule. Even if we break some rules, it's very important. Push the boundaries and emphasize the importance of exploration. It's very important because you need to be brave and explore, no matter why. Here next, example square, square angles. Take a look on the test uh, title, hang over cats, and highlight letters. The big resemblance here, the square angles of the end of the stro strokes, they square. It means we already know what we can do with that, yeah? We can adapt that and apply for the arrow, of course. Here we are. Adapted version, we take the square angles, apply that to the arrow sides, apply it to the arrow conduction, and we have that squareness, beautiful squareness, yeah? When we start editing, and it's very important because we already control the, uh, the curves, the icon, and take a look at the A, uh, a and N inner space highlighted with violet. Uh, it shows the openness of the font. And openness means we can control the openness of the arrow. And while we're editing its beautiful part, you already have control and it's easy to adjust the arrow uh, size, open the angle or close the angle, up to you, up to your design needs. That's why adaptation very important. And the most beautiful Example, I think creating that example, we understand we need to write down something, make a talk, etc. Fonts with ink traps. It's GT Flex font. It's out of the Google fonts, but it's have beautiful ink trap. Take a look, take a look at that resemblance, and I think you already know what we will do, yeah? Adapt, adapt, adapt. We adapt that ink traps to the arrow and build that beautiful example which reflect the font, the, the post. And the important part here, the much more unique font you have, the more exploration you can use, explore. 
It means you can build another type of arrow. You can play with that ink trap, with that connection with the arrows. Or you can play with curveness in the end of the arrows. All that give you new set, new icon, new beautiful icon. Here we have full experimentation which we have already prepared. Today, unfortunately, I can cover only three of them, but you can use QR code to read the full article about the full examples, the full techniques which you can learn and apply for your current or next project. And here, another motivation and important rule. Explore the ways to bring beauty into your projects. It means explore new fonts, explore new icons, and explore new forms. What about next steps? I think you may ask a question. Okay, Gleb, arrow with the circle, it's a very simple one because it has lines, arrow, it's easy to adapt, yes. And after that talk, if you're interested, you can return to your project or to your pet project and take a look on the font selection which you have, or the icon set which you have and try to find one or two resemblance in the font which you are using and try to adapt for another icon. It will be much more interesting trip than playing with the arrow. It's only example and the true beauty will be there. Recommend you. Of course, we talk about that because we love icons and fonts. We build our own evil icons collection. We have our own beloved Martian monophone, which we are using everywhere. Yeah, we recommend to use that. And of course, to learn more about fonts, please scan that core codes and uh, read more about icons transcendence, to read more about variable fonts because the settings and unique characteristics which variable fonts have also can bring you next level of beauty to your pro project. And of course, third article is where we build our own unique font and make redesign of evilmartians.com and where we combine that unique font nature with unique brand identity. It's true beauty, recommended. Please follow me on the Twitter if you love the story. Follow Evil Passions. Take a look at other blogs, uh, blog because we will post and we are posting beautiful stuff almost every week, I think. And if you want to play with fonts and icons as every designer, catch me after the talk and we will do it together. Thank you very much.